Welcome back, once again, to Metroid Fusion. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester with the Niskel. I'm glad we have our snot suit in here. Yeah. We get to absorb all the the ices. It's, that does kind of look greenish, but it's it's yellow. It's meant to be yellow. I know it's yellow, but take a look at like all the like little particles in there, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's, no, it's, it's kind of ooey gooey. Not my favorite suit. It's like we took multi-flavored gushers and just went, I think the ugliest suit would be the dark suit from Metroid Prime 2. I haven't seen that one. It is a lovely shade of brown and white. Uh, yes. uh, it's, oh God. it's cross looking. Samus, we need to work on your style, okay, girl? Come on. I mean, I know you're in infected with the X Parasite and a little bit of Metroid, but come on. That was Prime 2, so she wasn't infected with that yet. Shoot. All right, well, canonically, we need to work on your outfits here, hon. Trust me, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get infected by something in, in a few years. Have a nice surgery. It's gonna you're gonna look gorgeous. <laughs> we need to find you the prom suit, Samus. <sighs> Metroid prom. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets her corsage? It's like you know she's Who's the lucky guy? Set up her power suit. You know Order. she's she's uh you know activating the various <laughs> suit. She's locking and loading her cannon. And she's just you know looking. And then she goes. Oh no, I gotta zit. <laughs> what the fuck is this? So, maybe the X-Parasite have infected our, our missiles, or they're just mimicking them, because here is the real missile pack back here. Oh. That was, was actually kind of funny. Sneaky little bastards. Can't believe them. I was about to say, that was a gotcha moment brought to you by X-Body Spray. <laughs> I'm bringing it back. We've got Prom Samus. Whoever her date is, is gonna be wearing X-Body Spray. Maybe one of the scientists back on the back on the Federation. Maybe she has a thing for nerdy guys. I wonder what happens if uh, one of these things infects Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> the Exinator? He starts wearing an Orkin Man uh, outfit because he is the Exterminator. Yo! And if somebody ever takes his role, he will be in fact the Exterminator. That would be awful, actually. Yeah, I don't the, want that. The Metroid Terminator crossover, and it's the X Parasites infecting all of Skynet. Oh, great. Oh, Jesus Christ. So not only are they unkillable machines, but they also infect everything that they touch. They're also infinite. Yeah, so... Oh. Th th that'd be a... All right, we'll, we'll try again in the next universe, I suppose. You do know that there would be a Terminator if this was on the, the Xbox. In Bizarro World, where Nintendo actually said, Yes, Microsoft, you can buy us. We would have Metroid Fusion with the Terminator, because if Gears of War can get the fucking Terminator... Well, that's because, for Terminator 6, they were doing this ridiculously huge marketing campaign. Yes. Because Arnold is back! <gasps> Actually, I think they used his likeness in a Mortal Kombat game, too. They did indeed. As the, uh, T-1000. Yeah, they did. No, T-800. He was the T- Oh, yeah, he was the T-800, sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's, it's weird, they had... They had Schwarzenegger, and Stallone, and Robocop. All in the same kill you game. So, like, can you can you just make a movie, or a, or a game with a whole bunch of movie crossover characters? <laughs> Great. Now those guys are officially eligible to get into multiverses. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if Alter Instinct Shaggy can choke out Scorpion, anything is possible these days. I don't want to play multiverses, but at the same time, I do. They need to be worth it. They can't. It can't just be a multiverse. There has to be more to it than that. That's why the MCU makes gangbusters, and the DC Extended Universe has to struggle. All right. Well, we got the various suits. And we got to go to Sector Five now. That's the cold area. I heard the AI say ice missiles. I like that idea. Yeah. We we uh. Don't really have what it takes to get the plasma beam yet, because that's infected by a Corex as well, you know, just, yeah, yeah. But, uh, we could give the ice beam, but our body will reject that. We'll basically shoot that and die. Oh, that's... But if we get ice missiles, hmm. have all the ice in the missiles, then that's okay. That makes a lot of sense, oh that, my god. That'll give us a little bit of fighting, fighting chance. Not much, but a little bit of one. That makes perfect sense. It does, doesn't it? All right, Sector 5, the Arctic Zone. Ark. Space Colony Ark. 
Welcome, Samus. This one's pretty big, too. Can you please grab me a cold one from the back of the freezer? Well, we got a... Another data room, which means we gotta unlock more security hatches. Are you, are you sure this is a good idea? Unlock everything so that we can get the power of Bud Light. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, well. All right, in, into the into the ice cave. Please power up with the cool, refreshing taste of Miller Light. It'll help get that gross tissue suit off of you. I'd say Samus is more of a Michelob Ultra girl. I'd be down with a Mick Ultra with Samus. You kidding me? She probably has amazing stories to tell. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ho ho ho! How do you people get around this lab? <laughs> well, they're all freaks that can contort into a uh, into a ball. Can you imagine? It's like, uh, could you take could you, could you take this down to to records, please? And, uh, yeah, sure, so, go down the stairs, down this elevator, and I gotta huh, jump on this ledge, climb this ladder over here, and climb the, this top ladder over here, drop down, and, uh, oh, hang on, I need a bomb, so I'm gonna set a C4 charge. <laughs> and I crawl through here, drop down here, through this door, drop down five stories, then through this door, down the secret tunnel, and then up here, and then up out of here, and, uh, here's, here's the files you needed, James. Oh, thank you. You do know my door is just over there. Oh, sorry. Man. Okay, let me just uh, you know, step out the door and go to the right, and then uh, I gotta, I gotta bomb that. Wait, I, oh, I gotta high speed this part. Let me just uh, back up and then. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Let me jump through the attic. That way I can go down three blocks over, and then. Oh wait, I need security clearance three. All right. Well, uh, hold on. Does anybody have the key card? Of course they're not. There are no key cards in this. Who was the guy who designed this place anyway? And then a guy meekly steps forward. Uh, that would that would be me. Hi. You're the architect of this place. Yeah. Why did you make it like this? <laughs> well, uh, and then the X just start pouring out of his mouth. Oh my god. That would make sense, though. So. It's either that or the damage the X did to this place has been terraforming it. Do you think the X can live in space? I think they already have. I don't know. I mean, am I wrong? Or I don't know about that because if if, if that were the case, then the X could just freely leave SR three eight whenever they want to. Mm, you have but, a point. Uh, I don't know what's keeping them there. Is is it the atmosphere keeping them there? Well, maybe it's do, the same they, thing as the Metroids. Like, there's food. Do they need oxygen? Is the vacuum of space too cold and they can't really do anything in there? I mean, they are living parasites after all. You know, I want to run something by you. Yeah. Would the Metroids die if there was no more food? Can we starve Metroids? Because if so, we can probably starve the X. Oh, uh, it, it depends on what their metabolism is like. The X, I don't think you could starve because they're, like, parasites and... I mean, they'll probably mm. remain dormant for a while and... Dormant, yes. But that's... I don't know, that could be seen as a way to starve them out. Well, look what happened at the end of Samus Returns. We killed all the Metroids, which means that the X were free to roam and do whatever they wanted. But they didn't leave the, the planet at all. I just... Sci-fi really has a fascination with parasites that just eat all life. Because now I'm just getting the Flood vibes. <laughs> I just like sci-fi when it makes sense. Like, if, if I could apply it at, at least somewhat marginally to the real world, then it's all good. Alright, we got ice missiles, yay! No, that was fast. Yep, that's it. We got in here before an X could infect this data room. That's basically why we're opening up this one, because uh, we don't have a lot of data rooms left to, to use. <laughs> so that's one from Sector 5 is about the only one that, that that works the best. Or works at all. Yeah. So shoot here. Oh. Up there, and that's how you get up here. Okay, it still has the properties of the ice beam. Nice. Yep. Nice. Ah! I knew it. Stupid bat energy tank. There is another E-tank over here, though, so... I think we're almost done with E-Tanks. Is there a second row, or...? Yes, there are, uh... Oh, God. What is it? 20 E-Tanks, 32 bombs, and 48 missiles. Holy packs. shit! Yeah. They are decking you out for this game! Yep, 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 yep. My God! I love that, though. I love feeling really powerful. You gotta... Let that turn into that. So that we can jump is a clever here. puzzle. You gotta do that. 
shoot him so he turns into that. So we can do that and jump over here. Oh, no! That is such a clever puzzle. Damn it. Oh, damn, oh damn, you can make damn, it. Damn, you can damn. make it. Oh, fuck. No, oh, that's uh, That was weird. Yeah, get down here. Come on, come on. Okay. Samus rolling ball. She angie. <laughs> There we go. Okay. There, there's a missile. Uh, there's a, there's a missile. Okay. Yeah, all right. Perfect. Actually, that's secret. There is no indication that that's a secret. Within the secret. Uh, ooh. Yeah, now they're affecting these things now. Might as well just call this Metroid Infection. Yeah, when these things get infected with X, they uh, turn into big, pulsing, weird things, kind of like this. Alright, gotta shoot that. Gross. Shoot again. Don't get him yet. Let him turn into that. So we can uh, hit, him with the, hit, hit him with an ice beam, so we can run over here. Oh, that's so cool! And get through here. Awesome setup. Yes. And thank God for respawning enemies whenever you leave a room. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise... Oops! You see, you see here, there's a story reason as to why enemies keep respawning. Because the X are fucking everywhere! Yeah. Where's your excuse, Metroid Zero Mission? <laughs> uh, Planet Zebus is a terrible place. I still call it Zebes, I'm I sorry. I guess that'll do. I still, I still call it Zebes. I know it's Zebus. Oh, I've been calling it Zebes forever. I mean, nobody talks in the Metroid game, so... Now, now they do. We've been saying this all wrong. No, it, it's fine. Ah, Samusaran! You're here to fight the Metroids! <laughs> or in any fan fiction, especially the one we read a million years ago, it's Samass. And you're here to take out the cross parasites, aren't you? <laughs> no! <laughs> Only if owned by Sony! Get the fuck out of here! Oh, that's a nasty monster. Yeah. That thing does a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, wait. It's actually up here. Mm hmm? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> well, you know, my vent missile. I knew if I put this here, it'd be. Uh, uh oh. Is this place thawing? No, it's not thawing, but something bad's going on. What's happening? I saw it in the background. There, there, there's a thing going there, but that's not what this is. What's 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 happening? Uh, all right, compu computer, uh, wh what's going on here? Is there an another sector being attacked? I see a lot of saving. That means a boss is probably coming up because I saw it in the background. Uh, I'm just saving uh, for this section because uh, check this shit out. Let's see what happened. There's emerging sector three. The area could melt down soon. Oh. They shut down the cooling fans in the main boiler! Oh. They could destroy everything, including us! Do that, it'll, it'll trigger the auto-destruction sequence. So we got six minutes to get down to Sector 3, into that area, and shut it down! Oh, fuck! That is awesome! Go, 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 go! That is so cool! Excuse me, Samus, could you get down to Pyre and make it so that we don't die? Okay, thanks. I think we need a little bit more urgency than that. Is your objective clear? There's little time. Hurry to the control. All right, six minutes, go! <laughs> I just realized that our AI is basically HAL. And there's another comparison between Alien, 2001. A lot of sci-fi going on in this I, game. I always feel like Metroid's been just a love letter to all the sci-fi greats. I would say so, yeah. Alien, for sure. Alien, definitely. I think that's probably number one there. I mean, come on. There's a character called Ridley, for fuck's sake. I also remember that amazing line in Metroid Other M where she takes a look at baby Metroid and said, Metroid, I am your mother. There we go. We got our Star Wars, boys. We're in there. Hey, guys. Here comes here comes Commander Malkovich. <laughs> and then as he starts walking, everybody got, starts going, Dump, dump, da 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 <laughs> Fall in line! <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck. This <laughs> stupid. I, I, I kind of love the idea that Adam Malkovich just tells his cadets to shut up whenever they try to pull a prank. It's like, hey Adam, we we saw this awesome movie in the theaters, and we we thought, you know, do you want to wear a black robe? 
you know, just for a little bit, we want we want to test something. Do I get to choke you? You've seen it too. <laughs> I'm the one that took you to the film, you idiots. <laughs> we all went as a team, don't you remember? Oh. All right. Uh, Dude, you didn't tell me Adam was there. The lava spurts up randomly. Oh, ow, 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 that's that's barely hurting. <laughs> so what you got to do is look down at the surface of the lava. If you see the. Oh yeah. Just just keep your eye on that. That's that's my advice. I'm sorry, but you need level four clearance to get through this. <laughs> oh, okay. AI, you want to do something here? Oh, you got to go down and actually, uh, you know, well, uh, you, you, yeah, you, it takes a couple minutes. You, you can get there. No problem. <laughs> I think adding that might give kids, like, anxiety. Probably. It's like, you need to... Where's level four? Talk to their parents that night at dinner, and it's like, so how how was playing your game? I couldn't find level four. <laughs> the universe is doomed, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Sam has died, and she can't come back. Well, Sam is a video game character. You don't understand. <laughs> and the dad's like, son, I understand. <laughs> I understand you're a scrub. <laughs> Dad grew up playing Dark Souls, and now he's passing down his games to his kids. And just like, why don't you play Metroid Fusion instead of that Fart Night crap you've been playing all week? Uh, I'm pretty sure the boiler room is supposed to, isn't supposed to be like this. It is melting. It is indeed it, it melting. It is in fact melting. It is literally melting down. Mm -hmm. This is terrible. Oh my god! Open up! There. Okay. Excellent. And now for that boss that was flying in the foreground. Not the back. The, uh... Oh, hi. Stop that! Oh. It's an ex that was disguising itself as a crew member, which was how they got into the boiler room in the first place. Oh, that is messed up. That is messed up. And because they absorbed the crew members, they know that this will destroy the ship, so that was their plan. That is so messed up! Bright side, we got the wide beam. Uh, oh. Wide wide beam is 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 a. Uh, isn't that brand new? Uh no, it's not. Oh. When did we get the wide beam originally? I mean, I've been sitting through four different Metroid games. Didn't we get it in Super, I thought? No. I thought uh, we got the Spazer. Never a wide beam. I thought we got a wide beam. No. Well, we, we got it in two, that's for sure. Okay, well, then it was in two. There wasn't enough memory for the wide beam in <laughs> Super Metroid. We got a thin beam, but that's it! <laughs> oh, I love how we're just shooting ch intergalactic Cheerios at everything. Oh, uh, it's it's fantastic. Her, her beam just gets better and better. This beam is probably the the, the best beam in the game. Her, Yo, her, girl, her, you... In the, in the entire franchise. Her fully powered beam is the best... Best beam in the franchise. You packing wide beam? Girl. Do you want to go to prom? <laughs> Heard you got wide beam. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going with somebody already. I'm going with Cyrax. <laughs> From Mortal Kombat? It's... Uh, or maybe it was Silas. Silas, yes. It's a character from either ow, Prime 3 ow, or Hunters, ow, I don't ow, remember, ow. but everybody always ships them. Samus and Silas. Well, along with having the same number of letters in their name and the fact that it sounds similar... I don't know, I guess it could work. I've been thinking about Hunters lately. Yeah? What about Hunters? It's a game, alright. Certainly is a game. I don't know how fun it would be for a Let's Play, though. I definitely know that you have it, and I don't. Yep. Because I wasn't really a Metroid fan until... Well, not for a long while. Dude, I was a big Metroid fan because of... Well, this. This. Then I got the Metroid Prime Hunters demo. You ever, you ever played that? No, that that came with this, didn't it? No, or, it, no, 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 no. It came, it, it came with the initial run of the DS. Oh, the initial run of the DS. Uh, no, I never played it. Well, I have it. It is in my Metroid Prime Hunters case. Ah, uh, good. Back when they thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool if you could just touch your enemies away on the touch screen, and then you realize, oh wait, that, and then you're like, no, that control screen is is terrible. That's a gimmick. Yeah. I don't like gimmicks. So then everything is almost everything's done with the touch screen. It isn't that bad. But it is kind of nice to aim, you know, with the touch screen though. Yeah. That is nice. I just wish they didn't have the scanning as well. See, there's there's little touches of innovation with every Nintendo console. It's just like, oh sweet. Uh I, I can aim, you know, using the Wiimote, and then you realize, oh, they want to use the Wiimote for everything. 
me. Or, you know, Star Fox Zero. That's all I have to say. I think that's why Galaxy did so well. Because even though it was very gimmicky for motion controls, it was reduced down to a minimum. Well, it gave you that extra jump, which makes some of the levels more fun, yeah, in my can, opinion. You can just, you know, just just, just flick, flick that, which just, yeah. just feels good sometimes. You know, maybe like the occasional pointer thing to mm -hmm. do stuff, but that's that's pretty natural. That was mainly just to get star bits and some puzzles. Then you got, then you got Skyward Sword, which is uh, gimmicks the game. I'm going to attack! Uh, my wrist hurts. God. So remember, remember all the games in Wii Sports Resort? Well, now they are items in Skyward Sword. That is a great way to put it, actually. It's, it's what it was, seriously. Wii, Wii Sports Resort was practice for Skyward Sword. And that's so sad. Uh, I'm sorry, Skyward Sword. One of these days, I'll actually beat you just to see what the experience is like. But it won't be for a good heckin' long while. <laughs> because another game came out to kick your sorry ass. Which one was that? Or Breath of the Wild or Link's Awakening or... Literally any of the other ones. L or, uh... Yeah. Skyward Sword lost twice. <sighs> Twilight Princess was better. Can't believe I fell for the Skyward Sword prank. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! You thought it, you thought it, you, bro. you thought it was a Zelda game, but nope, it's just a gimmick. It's just a gimmick-filled adventure. I, <laughs> I hate it because I really wanted to like Skyward Sword. I really wanted to like Star Fox Zero, and they're all gimmick crap. I hated the Zelda and Skyward Sword too. She didn't do anything. Well, it's because you're not an anime fan, really. <laughs> Sorry, you are an anime fan of a different variety. Pa pardon me, I I love. <laughs> The, the anime romances of the 90s, you know, Tenchi Muyo is one of my favorite fucking animes of all time. And that's the reason you didn't like the Zelda and Skyward Sword, because that is the new, you know, cutesy but secretly bitchy thing of the new age. I fucking love that, cu that cutesy bitchy kind of thing, but the thing is, all she did was just kind of stand there and, you know, do nothing while Impa said you're not worthy. Until, <laughs> un un until, until she said, oh wait, I guess you are cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's Impa's role in Skyward Sword. You're not worthy. <laughs> so, now we're going to the habitation deck if you missed yeah, it. Yeah, we, we got habitation. We got some life forms up there. We don't know what they could be. They, I, they I have don't, a funny feeling they're ex-parasite. They don't appear to be infected by any ex-parasites right now. What? We're not sure. We're not sure if they're living crew members or whatever, but either way, we gotta go investigate. Is yeah. But how the hell do you gauge that? I think the computer can tell what's infected by X and what isn't. Well, the computer's up to something. No, they're not. The oh. Federation's up to something. Well, then screw the Federation. The computer's just complacent in the Federation messing up. I'm going against the man, man. Down with the Federation. So this could either be the easiest or the hardest puzzle in the game. The habitation deck here. Puzzle? Okay. You have this big open room over here that uh -huh. has three different entries. And each of those lead to, uh, I guess, sections that are locked off by some of those some of those gates. So what you do, to make things easier for you, don't go to these two gates here. Go to this top door. There's top door. Oh, hey. Those guys look familiar. They lived. They did live. You, so, you did the cannon thing. That over here. Get some yeah. room over here. I see you dodging very, very clear areas that can. Uh... I, I thought they were, but they're not because we got a high speed to get down here. And then we shoot that, and that's how we get a missile tank. All of that just for a missile tank. All that just for a missile tank. But how do we, like, open up the habitation area? Go in here. Uh, oh. I didn't even see that. Yeah, this is, this is where like it, it, it likes to trick you. So you go to the bottom one, you realize that oh I can't go that way because that's blocked off by those gates. Same thing happens in the second one. It's like oh well I can't. So you go to the top one. That's the only option left. Oh. Do that over here and boop 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 boop. Lock disengaged gate opening. Oh Samus, you fool! They have to be infected by the X. Nope. They've been safe in there the whole time. Well, they will be here soon. We're getting the fuck out of there. Is what they're doing. Well, smart animals. They are smart animals. They're very smart. 
you do all that, and the axe just comes swooping in. It's like, mmm, dinner. <laughs> so what were those things, if you're wondering? Well, here's a nice little dialogue box for you. Edacoons and Dachuras. I've met these intelligent beings before. They seem to recognize me as well. How unusual to meet he to meet again here. In the past, they've helped me unleash abilities I didn't know I had. But where do they run to? I hope they're safe. Save or kill the animals. Well, that's why I say save the animals, because as you can see here, it's canonical. They recognize me too. That means those are the same animals that we saved at the end of Super Metroid. Not to be a dick, but I could totally see one of those animals looking back and going, 99%! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Fine then. You want to end on that note? Alright, fine. See you next time in Metroid Fusion, which is a 100% run, mind you! 100%! 100%!